If you love the espresso martini, you need to try this variation by the creator of the espresso martini. This is pharmaceutical stimulant. Hi guys, welcome back. So the espresso martini is huge here in Australia and I guess it is all over the world. So today I wanted to make a, I guess it's not a riff or a twist on the espresso martini, it's just a, a little bit different and it's still by the man who created the espresso martini, which was Dick Bradsall. So I'm going to make this cocktail for you and then I'll explain a little bit about the history. And the first thing that it calls for is 60 mils of vodka or two ounces. I'm using the JJ Whitley vodka. Shout out to the guys at Halewood here in Australia. Next up, the specs for this was 15 mils or half an ounce of a coffee liqueur. I'm using Tia Maria. Then seven and a half mils or a quarter of an ounce of sugar syrup. And last but not least, 45 mils, ounce and a half of fresh espresso. We're going to add some ice to that. Give it a good shake. Really important to shake it up to really emulsify that espresso. Gonna serve this up on a rocks glass over ice. They're gonna say, hold up, hang on a second. Espresso martini, they don't come out in a rocks glass over ice. Well, this one does because this was created by Dick Bradsall for the newly opened pharmacy bar in Notting Hill, in obviously England, in 1998. For my garnish, same as the espresso martini, three coffee beans. That is the pharmaceutical stimulant. So how do we get to the pharmaceutical stimulant? Well, in 1983, he created the Vodka Espresso. Then it transformed into the Espresso Martini, not Espresso Martini. And then obviously for this launch, it became Pharmaceutical Stimulant. Let's give it a try compared to the others. All right. It tastes very, very similar. Definitely a little bit more booze there. You've got the two ounces or 60 mils of the vodka in there, but essentially it's kind of like the same drink, the espresso martini. It's nice to have it in a rocks glass. I know a lot of the traditional people and we sell so many espresso martinis here at the 18th Amendment Bar and a few of my other bars, but um, something a little bit different, a tweak on his own modern classic. Give it a try guys, see what you think. And uh, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.